Uh, you can tell it's springtime because in the morning I have to wear a sweatshirt, but by nighttime I'm just wearing a t-shirt, baby. Good morning and welcome back to Coffee with Sati. Today uh, I've been thinking a lot about places I'd want to travel um, because I've been stuck inside a lot, as I'm sure a lot of us have. And I don't know, it, whenever I'm like stuck inside or like I don't get to go anywhere for a really long time, I tend to kind of start thinking about places that I would go uh, if given the chance. Like if I had the money and I had the time and I could go like anywhere in the world, like where would I go? And I think I've narrowed it down to a couple of places. Um, and the first one that always comes to mind is Hong Kong. Um, which I know is kind of a, seems like kind of a cliche answer, but um, I've always kind of just been fascinated by, um, I'm a big, I'm a big fan of kung fu movies and uh, Hong Kong films in general, and I've always just been a huge fan of Hong Kong culture, and I just think it would be a really cool place to visit. That increasingly looks like it's like, a, you know, probably not a good idea, <laughs> but yeah, I've just always thought Hong Kong would be a really cool place to travel, and uh, related, I guess, in sort of the same region of the world, uh, Tokyo, I think, is also one of the places that, you know, if I had all the money in the world and all the time, uh, I'd definitely go to Tokyo, because even though I'm not like a huge big city person, just the kind of the culture of Tokyo and the way the city is laid out and the way it looks is all very like dreamlike to me and special and I just always thought it'd be really cool to like go to Tokyo and just kind of wander around um, and just like look at stuff and, and buy unique things and shops and whatever and just kind of immerse myself there for a while. The other place that I think would be really cool if I had just you know unlimited time and money is Australia. Um, I always had this dream of like going to Australia and like getting like a camper van or uh, an RV or something like that and just kind of camping across uh, the outback. I don't know, it, again, these are all kind of idyllic and like stereotypical things to want to do, but whenever I'm in a situation where I'm like, you know, I have the time to kind of daydream about things, this is kind of what I tend to, <laughs> tend to daydream about. And I also would really like to go to New Zealand um, I'd love to go on like a movie tour there, uh, a theme is starting to emerge here. Um, and the other place that I'd really like to go, like if I had, I don't know, two weeks of my life, what I'd really like to do is go on a, um, a tour across Route 66 and just like drive down the entire old road and kind of stop at like any unique thing I see stop at old diners and like restaurants and museums and I always thought that that would be really cool. I'm really into like Americana and sort of American iconography and stuff and so I always thought that would be a really cool, a really cool like thing to do if I had the resources to do it. it would just be like, you know, go down this iconic kind of American road and kind of experience everything there is to experience there. Um, so thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like maybe subscribing down below, leaving a nice comment. I make videos like these every so often, so I will see you some other time. I don't know what this is.